Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is basketball day four, the last workout for the basketball workout. I said work out a lot because that's what we're going to do. But we don't have very many things to do today because it's all upper body. Okay? Coach Schroeder is going to tell us what we got today, and we're going to get started. All right. First thing we have on the list is incline dumbbell press, trying to hit that upper pectoral area. Then we're going to go back to our pull-ups because I've never met an athlete that doesn't have a strong back, and pull-ups are by far the best back workout we can do. Then we're going to do a little sitting Arnold press, kind of hit those deltoids, a little tricep action. Then we're going to go back to just the regular flat bench once we got our muscles all warmed up from the other stuff. And then we're going to work into the dumbbell row. We'll get a little bit of that tricep again, shoulder back workout, man, like trying to get everything upper body stronger so we can move people around the court. Let's go! Okay, exercise number one is the incline dumbbell press. As you see, we, we get our bench, okay? It is inclined, okay, to work the upper parts of our pectoralis, okay? Now, it's good to have a spotter. If you don't, that's fine. I do have a spotter, so I'm going a little heavier today, okay? We're going to see what we can do, okay? And Coach will tell you, he will break down the mechanics while I am lifting. So let's get going. Let's see if I can do this. Okay, again, we want a wide grip. It's like there's a bar in our hands. Try to keep that wide as possible. Work that pectorals. That was how he's almost like an inverted push up. So we're not pushing out away from our body. We're pushing straight up and down. We're keeping that plane straight up and down the whole time. I keep going, but I'm falling. My shorts are slick. I'm sliding down this thing. Notice how he's got his incline, a slight incline. Like the first thing people do is they try to go too incline, and then it ends up becoming like a shoulder deltoid workout instead of the incline bench press. So we actually only want a very slight incline. We just want a little bit on the incline. Uh, 45, would you say? Yep, 45, 45 angle. Degree. 45 degree. So. Cool. On to the next one. So the next thing we have on our list is pull-ups. Again, like we talked so about. Pull-ups, baby. And it's time for them. Coach, let's knock them out. What you got? Like we talked about yesterday, or the other day. Wider the better, like we want to try to keep that overhand grip. Like again, this is a good variation of the pull-up, but I prefer the wide grip overhand where it's a lot more back muscle that way. And it just like I said, I don't know a single athlete that doesn't have a strong back, so this is where it's at right here. Again, we're doing 12 on the first reps. Core is tight, legs are together. See how he's not swinging his legs back and forth? You want to keep the whole core nice and tight. Okay? Breathe as you're working out. He's got one more. Up, up, up. Good. See how it brings his chin above? Chin above bar, it's a good indicator that you're getting full extension all the way up. You good? I'm good. Next. Okay, so next we have the Arnold Press. This is another one where it won't hurt to have a spotter just because we want to go a little bit heavier on this. We're trying to work all the heads of the deltoid. Actually, this was invented by Arnold Schwarzenegger. That's why it's called the Arnold Press. Um, so we're doing the sitting version. You can also do it standing up. But you're going to start with palms towards the face, and then as you press up, you're gonna work to oh, watch your face. So yeah, palms facing out. So you're gonna palms in, palms out. That way we can work all three heads of the tri or the deltoid. Someone some curls. <clears throat> Moving on. Next thing we have for today's workout is the bench. Um, most people, when they approach the bench, they don't approach it properly. So when they go to lay down, they end up with the bench like right here on their necks. And then when they actually start bench pressing, they catch the racks all the way up and down as they're lifting. Like when we lay down, we want to make sure the bench is right at our eye level. And that way, when we take it off the rack, we have a plenty of space. So if we fail, we're easily racked instead of catching the rack on the way up. Good. Uh, did you? Safety tip number one, clip your weight. Then just so luckily, I've got clips in my back pocket. Because safety's first here at Highland. We don't want the weight to slide off. It could kill somebody. So we are safe. Now, we will execute a proper bench press. Coach, how, how wide of a hand should we have? So at the bottom of the bench press, we want to be at 90 degree angles. So it's hard to tell from that angle, but we want to be at that 90 degree angle. So if you're in too tight, you're in up here, you're out too wide. The wider you go, the more chest it does work though. So if I'm going to go anything, I'm going to go wider than I am closer. 
All right. Spotters, you're not helping them the whole time. Let them work. But the, the biggest thing that you're going to be needed for is getting the bar off the rack, and you're just there in case if you see them start to struggle. Okay, so we lift it up. Are we good? Three, two, one. Up. And we're ready to go. And I'm just here for moral support. Good. Up. Down. Up. Make sure we're breathing. Inhale down. Exhale up. We go in. Out. Push. Push. Come on. How many are you going to do, Sergeant? Can't do two more. One. Come on, give me one. Give me one. Good. And we're back. That, my friends, see how his face is matching his shirt? You get a little worked up in this workout. That's what we like. Okay? We are going to our last exercise of the day. We have landed the plane on the final exercise of the basketball workout. And that is... Dumbbell rows, baby. Okay, let me at the bottom of the screen. Okay. This is... Uh, some of you may know this as a lawnmower. Um, that's kind of the only thing I kind of know it as. Chainsaw pulls. Chainsaws, uh, yeah. weed eaters, anything with the draw, string on it kind of thing. Um, biggest thing we want to focus on is, um, and correct me if I'm wrong, Coach, if we're lifting with our right hand, okay, would our left leg go on the bench or our right leg go on the bench? I usually do left leg on the bench. Left leg on the bench. So the leg that you're lifting with, so if I'm lifting with my right arm, my left leg stays on the ground for support. Left leg, my right leg is on the ground. My left leg is on the bench. As we are hanging the weights here, our head is up, our back is flat, and we just are isolating our back muscles. We're not doing this, okay? Right here, under control, okay? Coach and I will have a rock, paper, scissors, see who does this lift on shoot. Okay, oh, he got it. Dang. All right, can't wait. Would you like to do it? Or do it. Okay. Knock him out, John. He's going with the right arm first. Okay, we are doing three sets of ten. Okay. Now notice it's not his head's not up very good. So we come in here and smack him. The head up there, looking good, staying controlled. Okay. Another thing, if you keep your head up, you can you can spot who is uh, checking you out. If you want to be working out, you know what I mean? Yeah, he sees you. He sees you watching. And then when we switch. We just relax. We set the, the dumbbell back up. And we can pick it up with our left hand, we go to town. See how he's under control? His elbow comes above his back, which is fine, because that is just more range of motion you're getting. We just don't want his shoulders to fly open. We don't want to see this. Okay, here's a side view. Okay. I'd probably like him to get a little bit of a straighter back. Okay. And then good. See? His elbow comes up pretty good. It's nice and controlled. Okay. He isn't breathing, but that's just Coach Schroeder for you. I never breathe. Yeah, I don't even know how he's still here with us. Um, awesome. That concludes today's workout. Week two of uh, the basketball uh, workouts we have. Um, we should be coming back to school on Monday is the plan. So we hope to see you then. Coach, any final words? Have a good weekend. Stay safe. That is true. The weekend is upon us. Be safe. Football, good luck tonight. And... Sign off. Kumbaya. Let's go Cougs. Go. Go Cougs. Oh.